everyone. Um, today I'm going to show you some of the coolest Windows XP tricks. First I'm going to show you how to actually change the text and start button to make it say whatever you want. So uh, first, open up your internet browser. Then up in the address bar, t type in uh, download.com, hit enter, so go to download.com. Okay, then once it comes up uh, in the search box, you're going to type re source hacker resource hacker and then hit enter okay it now it should be the first one right here resource hacker 3.4 click that okay this should come up uh download now go ahead and click download now make sure your pop up blocker is off you're just going to hit open just click open when that window comes up okay this is what should appear now um you don't need your internet browser anymore, so you can go ahead and X out of that. Okay, this is what should appear, R-E-S hack. You're going to click this icon right here that says R-E-S hacker. It's going to ask you to extract all files. Go ahead and click extract all. This should come up. Just click next, next, finished. Okay, now a new window should come up like this. It's the new one with all the extracted files, so go ahead and close the older one. Okay, now you're going to click on this one right here with the yellow icon with the hammer on it. Click that. And then run. Okay, now that this is up, you can exit out of that window. Okay, this is what should appear. Click File, Open. Now, up here where it says Look In, click on that drop down list and click on your main drive, C drive or whatever. Now, then click on the file called Windows. And then find a file called Explore. Some people might be called explore.exe. Mine is explore right here. I'm going to click on that. This is what should appear. You're going to click the little plus sign next to string table right here. Bye -bye. And then all these numbers should appear. Click the plus sign next to the number 37. And then the number 1033 should appear. Just click that. And then this is what should show. Now see where it says the word start right here in these quotation marks? So you're going to replace the word start family. with whatever. And then after you're done, you're going to hit compile script. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. And then after you click compile script, you're going to have to go to file, save as. And then you're going to name it whatever you just replaced the word start with. So I replaced it with family, so you're going to name it family.exe. So whatever you replaced it with type that in, make sure the lowercase, uppercase are all the same, and then at the end do dot .exe and then click save. Okay, just click save. I've already done it. So so then once you're done with that, you can just go ahead and exit out of this. And then you're going to go to start run and you're going to type in reg edit r e g edit. Hit enter or okay. Okay. Um this is what should appear. You're going to click right here where it says H key local machine. Click the plus sign next to it. And then you're going to click the plus sign next to software. Then you're going to scroll down to find Microsoft right there. Click the plus sign next to that. Then keep scrolling down till you find, okay, this right here, Windows NT. Click the plus sign next to that. The plus sign next to current version. Then go down, find a file called Win Logon. Just click it. You don't need to click the plus sign next to this one. Just click the word Win Logon. Then this is what should appear. All of this. Now you're gonna scroll down until you find a file called Shell. Here it is, right here, right there. Shell. And then double click on that. This is what should pop up. See where it says Explore? You're gonna replace the word Explore with whatever you named, um, you replaced the word start with. You're going to replace that. So I remember I did family, so I'm going to type family.exe. Whatever you replace the word start with, just replace the word explore with, and then keep the .exe at the end, and then click OK. Okay, now once you're done with this, you can just exit out of it. Okay, and it's not going to immediately do it. First, you got to restart your computer or log off. It's probably better to restart. So once you're done with all that, just go to start, and then I'm going to log off. So I'll be back in a second. 
Okay, I'm back. And now, as you can see, my uh, start button now says family. So your start button should say whatever text you set it to as. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to find Windows Secret Song. So first, you go down to Start, then click on My Computer, and then click on your main C drive, then click on Windows, and then scroll down until you find a file called System32. Click that. And then find a file called OOB, O O B, right here, and click that. Then you're going to click on the file called Images right here. Click that. And then scroll down until you find a file called Title. Here it is right here. This is the Windows Secret Song. It's five minutes long. You can just right click on it, press play. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to add another text to be displayed on your desktop. Over here by the um, time, see where it says PM, you can add a text there and make it say whatever you want. I'm going to show you how to do that. So you're going to go to Start, or well, whatever you named it as, Family. Start button. Um, go to Control Panel. Okay, do, 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 do. okay, you're going to click this one. Regional and Language Options. Click that. This should pop up. Regional Language Options. Click the Customize button. And then click time right here and then over here where it says AM PM you can add your text into there whatever you want it to say it's limited to a certain amount of characters you only have about 12 characters I suggest you keep the AM PM in there and then you can add something else along with it so I'm gonna do house uh, PC then down here to uh, house I don't think you have to have both of them saying the same thing. If you only want the AM to say something and the PM to be normal, I think you can do that. So then you just hit apply, okay, apply, okay. And for this, you don't have to restart your computer. It should just automatically appear right there, right now. So there you go, PM house PC. And then exit out of the control panel. Also, I'm going to show you a way to mo um, speed up your computer by a marginal amount. Um, what I mean, I mean by when your computer starts up, you know when you turn on your computer or log in, it's really slow, your computer's loading all this crap. It's usually slow. I'll show you how to speed up the uh, startup a little bit. So you're going to go to start, click the start button, click run, you're going to type M-S-C-O-N-F-I-G, misconfig, hit enter. Okay, this should appear. System, configuration, utility. Right here, um, most computers, your computer probably says, has this one checked right here, normal startup. If And so, what you're going to do is you're going to click selective startup right here. Your computer probably does already have this one selected, but just click selective startup. So you got this one checked, and then you're going to click apply or OK. And then, I'm not going to do it because I've already done it, but yeah, after you click selective startup, just click OK. And then you're going to have to restart your computer after you do it. It'll tell you to do that, so go ahead and do that. So yeah, that's about it. Okay, now last thing I'm going to show you is how to make a fake virus that actually makes your computer shut down. It's good as a prank, and it's fun and easy to do. So first thing you do is right-click on any blank spot on your desktop. So just go ahead and right-click. Then you're going to go down and click on New. Then over here where it says Shortcut, click on Shortcut. Now a window should pop up. <laughs> Once this pops up, you're going to type in Shut Down space minus s space minus t space and then put in the amount of time that you want it to take for your computer to shut down so I'll do 60 seconds and then space minus c space quotation mark and then put in whatever message you want to pop up once this fake virus is activated so I'm going to do Trojan virus detected and then quotation mark. Make sure the quotation marks are at the end and the beginning of the message. Okay, then once you're done with that, you're going to click Next. And you can name it whatever you want here, but I'm going to name it Internet Explorer to trick people so they think it's the Internet when they click on it. Internet Explorer 3. Okay, and then click Finish. Now here's the icon. There it is right there. Now that doesn't really look like the Internet, no, does it? People aren't going to fall for that. So you can actually change the icon. You're going to right click on it, then go down to properties click on that once this comes up right here in Internet Explorer 3 properties you're gonna click on change icon okay here we go and then you're gonna scroll down until you find the internet icon here it is right here select it oh, press OK press apply press OK there you go 
looks like the internet. People think that when they click on it, this is what happens. Da -da. Oh no, I have a virus. And there you go. As I set it for 60 seconds, it's counting down 60 seconds. Here's my message I wrote, Trojan virus detected. Now to cancel it, control alt delete will not work. People are probably going to try that. Here you go, and task. See, nothing happens. You can't do it that way. So the only way to cancel it is you're going to go down to start, click on run, and then you're going to type in shut down space minus A. And then hit OK. And there you go, it disappears. So yeah, that's it.